morning. Just loading the herb agri crusher with the uh, DCR one four five EL. We're using a little, yeah, we're using a little three foot bucket, so it sort of feeds the jaws nice and evenly. And just makes it seem to go through a bit quicker. To be fair, just a big bucket just piling it all up, up on top, just feeds it nice and evenly. So let's go and have a look around it. So the first lot of material we're putting through is like slabs and sort of bricks and sort of mixed with a bit of dust and a little bit of soil which has been making the uh, crusher go a bit slower but it's still coming out at a fair speed to be fair and then when we get onto this stone over here we did put a little bit through early and it goes through a lot quicker so I'll show you that so different materials through this machine will make a dip like a massive difference to obviously clean bricks they say it can do up to sort of 500 ton a day with this machine so we're sort of this is our first day using it so we're going to see how we get on any material sort of like this stone filled with sort of dust it really struggles to go through because it sort of just blocks the jaws up so we're sort of leaving that the only other thing we might do we might put this through a screener and then put it through the crusher but this stone over here as you can see is it's quite a lot bigger and I've screened most of the dust out already, so it'll go through a lot better. Feeding it in, but nice, nice and slowly feeding it in. getting out sort of a 75 mil down we can close the jaws up a bit more but it'll go through quite a lot slower so we just opened them up to sort of 75 mil it go from 40 mil to about 150 mil i think on the jaws depending on what size you want they're hydraulic and you can just open them and close the jaws to whatever size you want so it's got a hydraulic folding belt so obviously you fold that belt up when you go down the road. And it's also got this mag belt as well going around so you can put a little skip just here so the belt that obviously pulls any steel out and chucks it into a little skip or just chucks it on in a little heap on the floor or whatever you want. steel in there so we don't need we don't really need to catch anything coming out of it Stuff. Now we're going to put some stone through. 
is it very fast? It's okay. It's only doing like this little pole here that we need to do. I don't know if I'd use, I want to use it all the time because obviously you can get machines that are quite a lot faster but for doing little jobs like this I think it's perfect. horsepower to run this, probably 120 horsepower to run it easy enough, but this is the only tractor we've really got available at the moment. So this stuff's quite clean, so this will go through really, really fast, hopefully. in the cab I've got it set I'll put it in a thousand and just set it sort of to ticking over because when you got it in 540 you're revving quite hard and using quite a lot of diesel whereas at the moment I've got it at a thousand uh, PTO speed and I've only got it ticking over and it's using about 15 litres an hour of diesel to, uh, so that's not too bad
quick walk around of the Herbus Crusher. Uh, the Herbus Compact Agri Crusher, as it's called. Um, I wouldn't expect massive, massive amount of output out of it, but it does do the job what we're wanting to do. We crush this heap here, which obviously then makes it into a usable product for some farm tracks. I don't think I'd want to be using it all day, every day, but, you know, it's brilliant because it's, it's a real small, compact crusher, so if you want to get it in a tight spot, it's not like this massive thing on tracks that you've got to move on the low loader. It literally takes probably 30 seconds to fold it all up and off you go, you're back on the road again. So, hope you've liked having a look around this little compact crusher and I'll see you in the next video.